uh, sometimes ago when Muba died, uh, I was among those people who felt sorrowful about the uh, sad news. But at the same time, I did this myself. I, I believed he has died and he had allowed himself to be uh, killed suspiciously, right? Because nobody was, till now, nobody is sure about the cause of his death. It's still an uncertain, a, 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 a well packaged deal among those people that have conspired to uh, terminate his death, either time or timely. Nobody, um, nobody today has the right answer, the right answer about that. But then I've been telling people the lesson you should learn from the death of Mobad is that don't allow yourself to be killed, mostly in this country, with the system we've been using. It's not about who is in power, as in the federal government or the state government. It's a, it's a tradition in Nigeria. Don't forget. And this, this is some, one of the things that used to get me convinced. If I went, uh, government or any agency say uh, they set up a panel of inquiry looking into the cause of the death of somebody. A, a old minister of justice, Attorney General of the Federation, Shibolagi was assassinated in his cold blood since 2001 till today. Nobody has a divinite answer to what led to the and who are those people? Who are those people who are responsible for the, the untimely death of Shibolagi? So, who is. I'm very sorry to say, it was more bad that these people now uh, see, we shouldn't we shouldn't deceive ourselves. We can now see something now. Nara Mali was among those people who were being held responsible as a kind of prime suspect into what who, among those people that might have been responsible for the death of Mbad. Today, Nara Mali is a free man. I'm not saying he's culpable, no. But there is something there that we have to learn from. Naramali, who majority of the people, majority of you believe that Naramali was a prime suspect. Was even some people not, will not even listen to maybe Naramali has, has no heart into the death of this man, young guy. But the same Naramali now is now positioning himself as the only hopeful person who can unfair the cause of the death of Mobad. The same about that you have accused Naramali of responsible for his death. The same Naramali is now the person you are turning now to to help you unfair the cause of the death. Why the state government, Lagos State Government, Federal Government of Nigeria, through the Nigerian Police Force, have set up panel of inquiry with no result today. We've heard about uh, so many SA hands, uh, so many legal professionals bragging and you know saying they have to get to the root things. When since last year or when you tell about that this man has died, nobody has been able to come out with a tangible report that they, this is the cause of or this man, these are the factors that, that might have been responsible for the death of this man. Despite the fact that there are some hidden things, there are some suspicious activities that led to the death of this guy, like we heard about him engaging in fight with some people as in a kind of rioters events we have we've, we've heard about him being treated for a particular ailment which nobody could till now establish that maybe has really been suffering that for, 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 for suffering for the ailment in fact the, the internal family the internal family of this guy the mobile they're not helping the situation the lesson we should all learn from this case of Mubad and uh, the Naramali stuff is that, you see, don't deceive yourself and don't allow yourself to be killed by anybody in this country. It's, it's, it's like a norm. It's like a norm. You shouldn't be encouraged, right? But if when, if you believe, you don't deceive yourself that there is no going to be just there. You, you won't deceive yourself and allow yourself to be killed. Like I've just been saying, the guy just like, oh, unfortunately, allowed himself to be cute.